American banks have never been good to black folks, all the way back to the first one, the Freedmen's Bank. So in 1865, after the Civil War, when we fought for a little bit of our freedom, instead of giving us land or money or at least housing, they decided let's give them a bank to put their crumbs in. But the thing about the bank, it wasn't ran by nobody that was black. All 50 of the trustees were white men, and some of them said they didn't even never sign up to be a trustee, they just got put on the list. Not only did they lie about being backed by the federal government, it was a privately owned bank with no federal backing. They also lied about interest rates, saying that they was going to give 6% and most people got less than half of that. There was also a lot of fraud. The trustees would loan money out from the bank to themselves and they also would invest the money in things like stocks and railroads without even telling the people whose actual money it is where it was going. Eventually, by 1874, they knew the bank was going to fail, so they decided to call Frederick Douglass and see if he could come save it. They knew he couldn't save it, but they wanted him to take the fall instead of them. He even put $10,000 of his own money in the bank trying to see if he could lift everybody else up. 70,000 people put the equivalent of $80 million in this bank and only half of them got anything back.